Hello Cherry Blossom family and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Miss Cherry, also known as Jessie. And today I have a super fun video for you today because there are two things going on in this video. The first thing, well I guess we're kind of meshing them together so I shouldn't say the first thing. I'm going to be doing a trip announcement and we are going to be opening these Disney Little Mermaid Wishables. And yes, I am in a different background. So I'm actually in my living room. I just thought I'd take advantage of some of Alaska's natural light that we have right now. The lighting is a little bit weird because it's coming in on this side, but it's still kind of fun. So these Wishables are new in the park. I actually heard that these have sold out already, which is a little bit crazy. My friend Jen was sweet enough to pick up four of these for me and she actually worked with a cast member to feel and make sure that I got all four. So here are the ones that you can get on the back. So it is Ariel, Scuttle, Sebastian, and Ursula. And she also got me the completer, which is Flounder. So let's take a look at Flounder. These wishables are so darn cute. I love that they all have little stars in their eyes and he's so squishy he's got little rosy cheeks and his stripes are just absolutely adorable i just love him so i can't wait to have the completed collection fingers crossed that um, they were able to feel and get each one because i really want to complete this collection i'm sure they're on ebay or something like that but i just feel like it's so much more exciting when you can actually open each one but the day that you're seeing this video, I will be leaving for Walt Disney World. I'm going to be going to Walt Disney World from technically Wednesday through Monday. And why I say te technically is because I'm actually leaving um, on Wednesday night, but I don't get to Walt Disney World until 3 p.m. on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> which is a little bit um, it's a long trek for me because we live in Alaska so I leave at like 12:45 a.m. and then um, which would be Thursday morning technically but it's Wednesday night uh, a lot of the flights that we have that are from Alaska are all uh, red-eye flights so I'll be leaving at 12.45, arriving in Portland around 5 a.m., and then I have a 6.15 a.m. flight from Portland to Orlando. And I am gonna be meeting up with several of uh, my YouTube friends. I get to meet several people I've never met before. I'm so excited to spend time with all of these fabulous, amazing, incredible people that I've been connecting with through YouTube. And um, several people are actually going down for the Disney pin event, the fairy tales pin event. And actually I am not going to the pin event. The original intention was to go to the pin event, but I didn't like any of the pins. They are not pins that would fit into my collection outside of like one or two of them. And so I just felt that it just wasn't the best use of my money. So I decided to take the time that I was going to spend at the pin event and just go and have a great time in the parks. So day one is Thursday. And so on Thursday after I arrive, if I have time after I check in, I'm going to try to go to Animal Kingdom for a few hours. I don't know if this is going to happen. I'm not sure how tired I'll be because I will have been flying all night long because at 7 p.m. we get to go to the very last Villains Night and I am next level excited to go and watch the Hades live show and I have heard from so many people that this is like a miniature Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party my heart. <laughs> I, I don't get to go to Mickey's Not So Scary this year. I'm going to the Oogie Boogie Bash in a couple of months in Disney California Adventure. So going to an event that's similar to Mickey's Not So Scary just like makes my heart sing. And I also heard that there is a, it, it's a cocktail, but it's not like there's no alcohol in it. That's a slushy that's made after that little martini that Hades drinks that has like it has a little worm in it so they made that and it's being sold near the pirate's ride and that is supposed to basically be violet lemonade 
So not only are we getting a miniature Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, we also might be possibly getting a little bit of Flower and Garden Festival. Like, I don't know how that event could get any better. <laughs> But that event lasts until two o'clock. So I'm not sure if we're gonna stay up that late. I don't really know. There's also some Disney bounding that's gonna happen that night. I will be bounding as Ursula. I created a crown very similar to the King Triton crown that lots of you really, really enjoyed. Um, and, and I had several people ask for me to make a tutorial. Well, good news. I made a tutorial on my Ursula crown. That's gonna be out very soon. And I will um, show all of these details and everything that's going on in my trip on Instagram. So be sure to be following me there. It's at Disney Miss Cherry. And okay, so let's move on to Friday. Now, since we're doing one of these per day, um, let's go ahead and open this. My guess, I think this is actually Ariel. Let's see. I'm so excited. Oh, it's Sebastian. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are so flipping cute. Oh, he's so cute. So here has his little face. And again, with his little star eyes. Oh man. Can you guys see how plush his little fur is? He's so soft. And his like nice little shell. How freaking adorable is he? Oh yes, okay, so we have the two sidekicks, Flounder and Sebastian. That's so awesome. Okay, so now that we've opened our Wishable for Friday, on Friday, what we are doing is Jessica Meredith from OM God Jessica and myself are going to be doing four parks in one day. Ah! And the coolest part about this, there's extra magic hours at Magic Kingdom that morning. It is the 50th anniversary of Haunted Mansion. I heard that they're doing like death certificates for people and they're gonna have like a specialty pin. And so we thought it would be so cool. Although this particular ride at Florida is not celebrating its 50th, they're still bringing all the 50th celebration to that ride. So we're still gonna celebrate it. I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to ride Haunted Mansion on that day. And our goal for our four parks in one day also is we wanna ride all different types of Disney transportation, minivan, boat, bus, monorail. And then we also want to get and meet a character from each of the different parks, ride a ride, get a souvenir. It's going to be so much fun. Jessica's vlogging it. I will also be vlogging it and we're going to be doing Insta stories as well. So be sure to follow both of us on Instagram. I'm going to link Jessica's Instagram and her channel down below so you can take a look at what we're doing. I'm so I am next level excited about it. I'm a little bit terrified because it's going to be so hot. We're also supposed to experience some famous Florida thunderstorms. Not shocking. So that's okay. But it's going to be quite the adventure. That's for sure. So fingers crossed we survive. We may fail. We're not 100% sure. It's going to be fun either way. Also, once we're completed with four parks one day, I heard that if you go to the visitor center in Magic Kingdom after you have done the entire four parks one day challenge, they will actually scan your magic band, confirm that you've been to all four parks, and then provide you a sheet of paper that says that you've completed that challenge. Fingers crossed that's still available. We're gonna try to get that as well. And then we're gonna be ending the night after we maybe take a nap and a shower. <laughs> By going to Tepanado, I might have messed that up. It's basically the hibachi restaurant that is in Japan in the Ep in Epcot, and we're gonna be meeting um, Jessica's friends and her fiance there for like a celebratory end. Sorry about the lighting and the graininess of the video, but I feel like I forgot a very important part of the night that we are finishing up the four parks in one day, and that is that we are going to, after dinner, go and watch Illuminations for the very last time. It's so sad. I loved that fireworks show, and the thing about it is that it wasn't my favorite fireworks show, but I have so many fond um, and happy memories associated with that fireworks show, and so many people that I've, I've shared um, in watching that with that I love so dearly, and so it's a little bit bittersweet. I'm so thankful that I get to see it one last time before it goes away and I'm really excited to see it again for the last time which is a little bit sad but I'm excited to be surrounded by some new and 
amazing friends and that's how we are gonna end the amazing four parks in one day. Saturday is the next day, so let's get our wishable for Saturday. So here's our wishables again. <gasps> it's Scuttle. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. Oh, the stars in his eyes, yes. Oh, I love his little gray. What an adorable representation of him and his little butt with his little tail feathers. <laughs> I just love how these not only have the stars in their eyes, but they also have this little rouge, like rouge on their cheeks, little blushing cheeks. That is so Tokyo, by the way. I feel like almost every Tokyo plush has these little blushed cheeks. I wonder if these are from the... These might be from the, the parks in um, Asia. Oh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of symboled writing, so there's a possibility. Yeah, there's a possibility. Interesting. Saturday. Saturday is going to be a really big and really exciting day for us. We are going to be going directly to Epcot and spending the entire day having an absolutely fabulous time in pure Epcot fashion and we are probably going to be a little bit late to the parks because good lord we're going to be doing four parks in one day after closing down Magic Kingdom after Villains Night so that's going to be a little bit wild but we are just planning on doing typical things going on Soarin', walking around enjoying the world showcase while we are at Epcot in the evening after the pin event we're going to meet up with several of our YouTube friends kind of just hang out and enjoy everything the world showcase has to offer and then we are going to be heading to H2O Glow Nights over at Typhoon Lagoon this is going to be my first time in a Disney World water park I am so excited and like I hope <laughs> I hope so so much that they have this shirt for this event because it is Rex from Toy Story and he's dressed up like uh, the lady that sings in an opera with like the little horns and it looks hilarious it's also tie-dye actually if I can find it I'll insert a picture so you guys can see it but I'm like I'm obviously so excited to go to a water park because the opportunity for me to go swimming here is pretty slim so going to a water park at night with some glow sticks and with some Rex merchandise obviously it can't get any better than that I also bought um, us and some of my friends some of those really cute glasses that they have that are um, they're heart-shaped and they're actually like glow sticks on each eye <laughs> So I'm really excited about that. We're not going to be vlogging at the at the water park um, just because it's really inconvenient to vlog at a water park. But um, we will be vlogging most all of this trip outside of maybe that one thing. <laughs> okay, so for Sunday, we're going to be spending the entire day in Magic Kingdom, which I'm really excited about. Oh no, we got a double. Oh no. <laughs> so we got another Sebastian oh darn okay so we're not gonna be able to complete this set shoot that's okay though so in Magic Kingdom the fast passes that we have are for Seven Dwarves Mine Train Big Thundy Woo! cannot wait for that and for Splash Mountain and then we're gonna be ending the evening watching my all-time most favorite Firework show in the entire world happily ever after in Magic Kingdom. I'm also going to be meeting up with another um, few of my friends that night too. It's going to be just a really nice chill day in one of the most happiest places on earth. And then that brings us to Monday. Okay, now I'm really curious what's in Monday. Oh no! We got another scuttle! <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Hey, that's okay. Scuttle is my favorite, so I'm totally down. I'm um, totally down with having him. Well, that was a little bit of a fail, which is okay. That happens. Maybe I can find a place to trade. Um, so Monday, we have a reservation at 1900 Park Fair. I've never been there. I've also never been inside the Grand Floridian. <laughs> <laughs> which is interesting so I'm really excited to go and experience that I kind of was hoping to go to Basin White and see uh, what that's all about since I know that it's a little bit fancier inside of 
the Grand Floridian. And then we are gonna be heading after that to go to Hollywood Studios and finish our afternoon at Hollywood Studios. And we have to catch the Tragical Depress around 3.30 or 4 o'clock. That is gonna end our trip there. And then I actually don't get back home until 2 a.m on Tuesday morning. So it's gonna be an absolute whirlwind of a trip. You guys will have to let me know if you have experienced um, some of these things that I'm getting ready to experience for the first time, going to the Grand Floridian, um, experiencing Villains Night, you'll have to let me know down below what you think of those experiences and if you have any tips or tricks of going to any of those experiences that I'm, I've listed in this video, I would love to hear them. Um, I'm always open to suggestions and I always love hearing new Disney tips, especially when I don't really know what I'm getting into. <laughs> if you guys see us in the parks, please be sure to come up and say hello. I love saying hello when I get the opportunity to people who watch the channel and give you guys a hug and thank you for supporting me and supporting the channel. And I will have Mysterious Channel stickers that I'm gonna be giving out to everyone that comes up and says hi. So be sure to say hello if you see us in the park. Well, it was really fun Fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you for opening my Disney Wishables with me. If you guys want to trade, I'm looking for Ursula and Ariel. So um, I have an extra Sebastian and Scuttle. So again, leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you guys enjoy silly Disney unboxings, traveling with me across the country and the world, visiting the Disney parks and anything creative, crafty, and Disney, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So much content is coming your way regarding all of those things. And I hope that you guys have an absolutely magical day and I will see you in Walt Disney World. TTFN, <laughs> bye.